Okay. Okay. All right, so let me do my okay. Just I want to do the interview. So I want to hold the, the set so no one comes in. Alex. Once we do the interviews, we'll start doing with Miles. You know who oh, who, pick one wherever you want. Oh, yeah. You know who I saw yesterday? Um, Vijay from the other shoot, and he was asking if you want if you need him for anything as well. I always need more yeah, people. Yeah, so I'll tell him to come. VJ, who's VJ? VJ, he was part of the wedding shoot. The wedding shoot. Oh, yeah, VJ, the <laughs> Indian guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I just he was with Sean, that shoot yesterday. Okay. I didn't know he was. A, he does video game design. Yeah. Cool. You need to wrap the, the wire around the other side. It's visible in this chest. It's okay. Yeah. You, you think it's the other way, and then pull it down. Yeah, then you can pull the cord down. Oh. It's better it there too and because put it then on you first and then pull it down. Yeah. And we will take a couple of shots over there. Okay. Uh, he is a model and me as a photographer. Okay. okay. So like for the mm -hmm. like uh, Because I know some is, okay. some is going to show. And, well, and, they, and they, show. they will uh, kind of uh, tape this also. Okay. Yeah, the behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. No problem. So it's a... Uh, yeah. Where's that clip? Oh, oh it's right here. I want to bring my son to the <laughs> shoot on the Where's 24th. Absolutely. Yeah, because he would be good out. for the okay. wedding okay. shoot. He could be like yes. a ring bearer. Or something. <coughs> no, no, no. Oh, awesome. you put it in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, it's really good. No, when you see him, you'll be like. But I was going to put the cord part of the cord. Because so he's very like um. Oh, wow. He's good you look for awesome modeling, this but I wanted. I wanted okay. to. I'm going to help get somebody to help you. Just give give it. No, it's no, not like this. Just right here. It's that piece right there. Right here. See that? That piece right there. This way it's supposed to hold it. I'm going to get someone, right Kurzai, and someone to help you. So that when you... Oh, no, too small. Too small. It's too small. Yeah, it's too small. Yeah, so the other one. This one? Okay. Okay. Say it again. When, uh, when the card gets filled, I will give you another one if we so have. So the ladies are pretty much fit. What do you want them in first? You want them coming in the wedding gowns? So, yes, we we wedding gowns first. Yes. And Once, we're do the interviews and wedding gowns? So, yes, so we will do the first, we'll do photography okay. in the wedding gown, and then we'll do the interview. Wedding gown, okay, uh, the so photography, so. interview. Photography, okay, interview. Okay. Okay, so yeah, see, look, okay, so this, this is going to be behind you if you go back, <laughs> just so you know. Okay, perfect. So it's okay if you lean in on this and won't show. Okay. How's that? Oh, that hurts. I mean, uh, Sean. Um, okay. Oh, let me say just in case. Uh, can you hold so the other one will walk in? Yeah, I'll just hold it in case I want to walk in. Okay. Yeah, I'll just hold it in case I want to walk in. Okay. 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 Ok
uh, Nikki, one of the first uh, ladies, uh, responded and uh, shoot with me uh, for the calendar. And uh, I hope that this year you will see her pictures from that shot uh, as the in the Ebony Girl calendar. Uh, but today I would like to talk about uh, all the talents that Nikki has. Uh, I'd like to talk about her uh, makeup career as a makeup artist. And I'd like to talk to her as the equal co-producer at the Brick uh, uh, TV studios at the Coney Island. Uh, Nikki and I are certified there and uh, we can shoot on Wednesdays and uh, Saturdays. Right, uh, Wednesday and Saturdays. It's a pretty big studio over there, and hopefully Nikki can give you some more insights what we can do uh, at the Coney Island. Okay, so it was just you know it was just a really good meeting that happened to happen. Um, Alexander, like you said, we've known each other for a few years, and what happened? We went both to get certified at Coney Island and happened to be in the same course, so it was perfect. We actually had a really great class, um, a lot of creative, really interesting people, a couple of people working on their own scripts, working on their own shows. So we had a great experience. And then since then, we've connected, and I was able to help him at a yes. previous production. Um, we also shoot at the YouTube, sp YouTube space in the Chelsea Market in the city. And Nikki was very helpful there. Nikki came on time and uh, collected all the model releases and uh, even brought one, one model of her own. Right. Yeah. So it's been great collaborating with Alexander and I appreciate that he appreciates my effort. Um, and I've been working with some great people here at Brick as well. So we encourage you to reach out to us. And if you want to shoot at Coney Island, as he said, on Wednesdays and Saturdays um, for any type of production, just get in touch with us and let us know in advance and we'll see if we can accommodate. Uh, let me just explain the difference between the production with like right now we are at the break in the Fulton area and the difference between Coney Island and Fulton Fulton is really busy most of the producers are uh, trying to shoot here so usually if you need to shoot something really on the fly really fast uh, Fulton Street uh, Studios would be booked. Uh, Coney Island is not that popular. There are less producers who are certified there. It's a little bit off out of the way. And uh, the other advantage of uh, shooting at the uh, Coney Island Studios is it's requiring only two producers rather than four producers. Like for example, this morning uh, I was waiting for like to have full crew staff to be able to open the studio with the Coney Island, just Nikki and me, if we are a good team and we are a good team, we just open it up and we can uh, keep shooting. We can obviously uh, add more people to the crew, but at least two people are re minimum required to get uh, production ready. Studio there is pretty big. We can do a fashion show. We can do a, There is a stage there. The only uh, drawback that I see uh, is that uh, there are windows there and light is not easily co uh, controlled. But for most of the productions, there is a green screen, there is a black screen, uh, there is a, a pretty decent uh, size room uh, to do what needs to be done. There are three cameras and, uh, you know, pretty much exact same setup as uh, the um, production of the brick. Uh, so uh, we are thinking about the in, uh, production of some reviews, at least Nikki likes to do those. I'm thinking about like more like a fashion show, or like a more like a... Uh, reviews of the different designers when you can actually see the models are moving and uh, 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 having uh, some space. Like it's like twice bigger than the B Studio in the uh, break uh, in the at Fulham, so it's uh, 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 much more uh, space uh, to work uh, work around. Uh, what else uh, I can say? I think Nikki is a pretty uh, decent person. At least uh, our encounters are that uh, we've been uh, true to each other and uh, hopefully we will stay uh, uh, friends. And, uh, you know, tr uh, you know, it, it takes some trust on the set. Like, let's say our first shoot, five o'clock in the morning, in the middle, of, like, it's really hot. It's like, you don't go with, with a stranger on the beach. And uh, th those things, uh, like, uh, when once you get someone reliable who actually get up in the morning for the sunrise sun, sunset uh, shoot once you see that uh, the photographer actually give the pictures like promise and even like i had a uh, little misfortune my hard drive uh, 
get uh, a virus and it was corrupted and i it took me a quite a, a quite expensive uh, process with the computer folks but i was still uh, able to retrieve those images and give it to nikki so, some guys for example would say twelve hundred dollars i'm not i'm gonna shoot it or you know no no i actually uh, uh save the hard drive so i'm just trying to gotta take credit for you know what i'm capable of doing and but also say that N nikki is quite a reliable person uh in this world especially with the small budgets uh, sometimes people have um, tiny budgets uh, and uh, you know if you're paying very uh, minimum amount of money uh, some producer will say you know what i don't feel like gonna get up in the morning today for this kind of stuff i'm not i'm gonna be late uh, like we have some issues today with our makeup artists and hair people supposed to be here at 10 they uh, maybe they will come now at three so those things at least with nikki my experience say haven't happened so that that that's um, a, a good person to to, to be around when it's uh, the production require a reliable uh person who will come get things done uh, like for example last time on uh, the youtube space uh i gave uh, nikki assignment to collect model lists usually it's a pretty tedious and difficult assignment especially dealing with strangers people don't want to sign people want to read it's a lot of small text so it takes uh, an effort and being kind and polite you know like sign this and you, you gotta do it you have to be nice to the person because the person might refuse my leave or might uh, feel awkward about what they sign and or what they didn't read the all the small print so it, it takes an effort uh, from the uh, person who is uh, getting that job. Not everybody can do it, I, I can tell you. you so th th those are people skills that are <laughs> also present uh, uh, with Nikki. Uh, hopefully we'll have a good shoot today. And, oops, and uh, uh, you will contact me or Nikki and you'll see the, on the subtitles uh our contact information so uh, if to require more more about what we can do can you do you? yeah okay thank you so much that was such a great recommendation i really appreciate it and coming from you i appreciate it and like you said we met under circumstances like he actually called me to do a photo shoot and so i was actually you know i wasn't doing any photo shoots that summer but i did it just because it sounded really interesting and he had some very, um, an interesting dynamic going on. He was telling me he was working on a calendar and that there would be royalties and, you know, I was in.